Despite struggling with his outside shots and needing to improve his offensive arsenal, Jonathan Kaminga was seen as a prized wing out of G League Ignite. I mean, the God-given gifts were there, and they'd surely guarantee that Kuminga would be an impactful piece at his floor. And at his ceiling, that would mean that we're talking about a potential star. He showed glimpses of just how impactful he could be just last season on both ends of the floor, but now in the absence of Andrew Wiggins, Kaminga has stepped up in huge fashion. He's playing the best basketball of his NBA career, consequently keeping the Warriors afloat despite what looked to be a very troubling situation. In this video, we'll learn just how great John the Kaminga has been for the Warriors over these last few games, and also discuss the scary potential that this 20-year-old actually has. But before we begin, be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a tremendous difference for the channel. Also, be sure to sub to the channel for even more content like this. In the grand scheme of things, the Andrew Wiggins, D'Angelo Russell trade of 2020 is going to pay huge dividends for the Golden State Warriors. Because not only did they get an all-star caliber wing to pair beside their big three, but they also got a 19-year-old wing with sky-high potential. A player Steve Kerr even likened to a rookie Kawhi Leonard. Like Kawhi, Kaminga didn't play heavy minutes in his rookie season and wasn't the main focal point of the offense as well due to Hall of Fame vets already being on the roster and due to the immediate need of the team to contend. But from that comes the tutelage of those vets and the establishment of himself in a winning culture where he can learn from his mistakes rather than just throwing up a high volume of shots on a bad team. Like Kawhi, Kaminga has the physical tools and extraordinary athleticism to be an impactful piece on the offensive end, as well as being a disruptive force defensively, something he's shown since entering the league. He has a very quick first step, is one of the most explosive players in the entire league in both half court and in transition. He runs the floor extremely well and is great at filling in lanes. He's shown an ability to take on defenders off the dribble and finish, and he's demonstrated the ability to slip screens and cut to the rim. Additionally, Kaminga's athletic prowess also extends to the defensive end of the ball, where he's already shown to be one of the more capable defenders and help defenders in the league, taking on assignments from DeMar DeRozan to LeBron James. What I love about Kaminga defensively, outside of just his physical profile, is his intelligence. He's not too overzealous and constantly reaching and playing ultra physical to garner fouls. And not only that, he's good at reading passing lanes, good at anticipating his opponent's next step, and doesn't back down from any challenge. Kaminga is trending to be a sensational wing with star potential in the future, but he's actually playing like one right now. Over his last 10 games, he's averaged 16 points and 5 rebounds on 62% from the field and 50% from 3, propelling the Warriors to their first consecutive road wins since games 4 and 6 of the 2022 NBA Finals. One of the biggest knocks of Kaminga coming into the draft and even his rookie season was his outside jumper. And teams are still not respecting him just like when the Grizzlies were practically giving him the Russell Westbrook treatment. However, Kaminga has flipped the script in a big way. He's shooting 48% on catch and shoot threes over his last 10 games on two of attempts a game, which is going to be extremely pivotal for him in terms of proving his value off the ball. Moreover, regardless of how defenses are daring him to shoot, he's shooting these threes with confidence, which is extremely important for someone who has had struggles with his outside shot. Another offensive area where he thrives is obviously in transition, which is obvious given his insane explosiveness and speed in the open floor, 
and the fact that he shot 80% within 5 feet of the rim over this 10 game stretch. Additionally, he's demonstrated his ability to operate as a screener when Steph Curry is the pick and roll ball handler. Steph's gravity is going to play a massive role regardless of who the screener is and defenders eyes are going to be glued on him as soon as he passes half court. However, Kaminga's ability to get by and detonate at the rim speaks to his ability as an effective screener and roller and also testifies to his high basketball IQ. Kaminga is really understanding when it comes to moving off the ball as a cutter or filling in lanes, which has created so many direct scoring opportunities for himself or even more warrior possessions. Moreover, the thing I'm probably most impressed about him is the fact that he makes the right plays. Whether it be just making that extra pass, analyzing the floor to see who's open at any given time, or even hustling for offense rebounds to create second chance opportunities, he's demonstrated his reading ability as well as his willingness to play within the structure of a team. Defensively, he's been a playmaker as well, with many of his deflections or flat out steals leading to opportunities for the team, with that often being in transition. Given his IQ, agility, and length, there are just so many ways in which he can be deployed defensively, whether that be utilizing him as a help defender, or just having the confidence to take on pretty difficult assignments. Given the growth that Kaminga has shown and the production he's put out as of late, you can't but help to imagine what his ceiling could be. He will need to continue to improve upon his shot slash playmaking ability, as well as maintain a high volume of three pointers at a decent clip in order to morph into a potential star or even a potential all-star in the future. But right now, the Warriors need him in the worst way. The Warriors season obviously hasn't gone to plan thus far, as they're a far cry from what they've looked like in the past after winning a title. But with two straight road wins, when it seemed like they'd never win on the road again, the Warriors look back in action. The Dubs are already the sixth seed, which is already out of the playing tournament. They're just one game out of the fourth seed, they're amazing at home, and their star players are stepping up big as of late. Since All-Star break, Clay is averaging 23 points on 43% from 3 on 10 attempts a game. Steph has returned to the god tier status that we've known him to being, averaging 30 points on 44% from 3 since returning. Gary Payton the second is soon to return as well, and other key contributors are stepping up in a big way. Replacing Andrew Wiggins is no small task and we'd be expecting a ton out of Kaminga if we were just asking him to replicate what Wiggins did in last year's playoffs. But if his play as of late is an indicator of anything, then I firmly believe that the Warriors will be alright. With that being said, be sure to comment down below your thoughts on Jonathan Kaminga. How impressed have you been with this game thus far, and how high do you think his ceiling actually is? Additionally, given their improved play as of late, how far do you think the Golden State Warriors can go this season? Let me know in the comment section down below. Be sure to leave a like on the video as each like makes a tremendous difference for the channel and be sure to sub to the channel for even more content like this. Hope to see you all in the next one and stay tuned.